Hello all, and welcome back to our summary for our Dishonored Rebirth campaign. So, our first score, the group decided that they were, were hired to try and ruin the reputation of a new priestess slash paladin that had come to the city. Uh, the group had learned that she had been clamping down hard on corruption, but was loved by the people. She was giving and helpful to the community, and not overly liked by the priests of the church and tended to balk at some of the original traditions, though with her powerful connections they were not able to remove her. The group decided that this supernatural hunting paladin needed to be removed. So they came up with an idea, searching out a ghost gate as close as they could to where they knew this paladin had passed. They decided they would force it open. During this they encountered they let the ink rakes know something was gonna happen. Unfortunately, this slipped to the blue coats, and who were on patrol in the area, as well as a rival, Helmholtz, was there. As some creature was used to smash open the ghost gate and ghosts poured out, the paladin ran at the aid of the people who became panicked. Spirit vein charms were used, and demon vein charms were placed in the hands of those people didn't want to lose. The blue coats panicked and tried to control the situation, were almost helpless, not really realizing that the spirit wardens would need to be called early. They started seeking out them. Meanwhile, this paladin, whose carriage was careened into the area forcefully by Brace, stepped out and began to dispatch the spirits with some ruined vein sword of some kind. The group concerned about this, watching Ghost be destroyed in instance, and their plan possibly going down to expose this person as maybe a whisperer or a witch of some kind, ended up knocking sword of her hand as it was taken by another, disappearing into the darkness. The other ghost there tried to gather the others against her, forcing her to use a demon bane charm, destroying a lot of them. This had multiple effects. She had broken the laws of Dustfall, on revealing a demon bane charm without permission. However, being a member of the church, they did not push to have her arrested. The people seem to love her, but the church seems to despise her even more, leaving a mixture of opinions of this person. Could she change the city? Could she cause problems? That was the first score. The second one, Minch, your contact who supplies you with silence potions, came to you. A little nervous, he wanted the new formula that was hitting the streets, but didn't want to pay the cost to get the license or have his work overlooked as much. So he asked the crew if they would acquire this for him. And the crew did. They snuck into Charter Hall where a record of this potion was kept. But they weren't the only ones. Some invisible monstrosity was there, killing guards and dispatching the night security, causing a whole kind of ruckus. The group managed to catch this creature smashing it and realizing it was a spark right. And in a fit of rage, Drazik ended this person's life before demanding the one surviving guard help them find the recipe. The group did find the recipe and a couple others and escaped into the darkness before the spirit wardens arrived. They now have the S potion, a potion that leaves you drained and exhausted after but gives you momentary high speed abilities. And with that, that was the game everyone. Hope everyone had fun and I will see you Friday. Bye for now.